This is the second in a series of three tutorials on OpenLP. OpenLP is the software that we use for projecting song lyrics and Bible readings and media to the screen during worship services. And in the first tutorial we looked at covering everything that you need to know if you are the operator of the PC, if you've been tasked with sitting at the PC and controlling the flow of a service where somebody else has already set up the songs and readings and, and media that are going to be used in the service. So for the first tutorial, everything that you need to know has everything that you need has been done for you on the machine and then the tutorial just covers how to operate the computer. In this session we're going to look at setting up a service. So choosing songs and readings and media, arranging them in such a way that they are ready for the operator of the computer to come and do their bit. So let's assume that you come to OpenLP and it's open before you, just to note that we're using version 2.1.1, which is a beta version of version 2.2, slightly newer than the version in the church, but fundamentally the same, so we shouldn't notice any major differences. And assuming you come to the computer and there is, there is already a set in the window, in the service manager window here, we want to create a new set so what we're going to do is just click on that icon there and that will clear this for us and we can now get going with our set. All the resources that we're going to need for adding to the service are found on the left hand side of the screen in this library section and you'll see that we're able to find songs, Bible readings, presentations, images, media and custom slides and then to arrange them in the service manager until we're happy with the, the layout. Let's start by choosing some songs and the quickest way to locate a song is to type um, a, a couple of key words into this box and you'll find that this list of songs is filtered by the software. Just to say that when you're searching for a song there are numbers of ways by which you can search. You can, you can look for a song by trying to find a, a phrase that appears somewhere in the text of a song. Um, for example what can I give it appears in four songs and I'm looking for that one there I will offer up my life if I just remembered a key phrase but didn't know the title of the song uh, that's one way to find it by searching using the entire song and so we can drag that song across to the service manager you just click and hold with the left mouse button and drag it across and when you get to the service manager release your left finger release the left button and the song goes into the set if we want to clear that search window we just push that little button there and we're back to where we were before that's searching through the entire song most times it's easiest just to leave it on this setting which is to search through titles and so if we're looking for the song cornerstone You'll see it's much quicker and there it is. Click and drag across. Let's add the Lord's Prayer. Put that in there. And now let's search by some other criterion. We can we search by entire song, we search by title. Lyrics is very similar to entire song. We could search by an author if we wanted to find something uh, written by a particular songwriter for example something by Charles Wesley you'll see how many times he appears here but if we want to search there is a song there which we could choose based on the author then another way to search is to search through song books and this is quite a useful way to locate a song if you've just got the hymn number or the number from the source. We use two song books in our database. One is uh, the MHB Methodist Hymn Book and so if we're looking for hymn number one in the Methodist Hymn Book um, you'll see it there, Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing um, and you could also type in the source number and you'll see it'll appear in that list of, of songs there but say we found the hymn that we're after oh for a thousand tongues to sing click and drag across and we've now got all the songs that we want to do for this service 
Then let's go ahead and look for a Bible reading. We click on the Bible tab, make sure that we have the right version, the right translation of the biblical text. The translation that we use in services is the Good News Bible, GNB. And usually the, the if you're working on one of the on the church machine or one of the office machines, uh, it'll be defaulting to that. But there are other versions available. Uh, the preacher may ask for a reading from the message, for example, or from one one or another version. Nine times out of ten, we are dealing with the good news good news Bible. To locate the text that you're after, start typing the name of the book. So in this case, we're going to look for something from John's Gospel. J O and you'll see the list is being filtered down until we're just left with the one that we want. You can either type out the full word or press the down arrow to select that first item or you could use the, the mouse to pick it from a, from a list of several. At this point type in the chapter number so we're looking for something from John chapter 3 and then a colon and then the verses that we're after say verse 3 to 12. Press enter and you'll see that all the verses come up in this box down here. With one more thing to be careful of is that the style that we use for presenting is continuous. You can show just a single verse per slide or a verse per line, but we use continuous and so we want to make sure that it's set for that. And then again, dragging the text across to the service manager. Click, hold, drag and release. The next possible item that we could include is a presentation. Although we very seldom use this feature, normally if we are running a presentation that's something in uh, like a PowerPoint file or uh, OpenOffice or LibreOffice or one of those presentation software packages, uh, you, c you can drag it into the program and if it's a very simple presentation it will work fine in OpenLP but I, I find it's usually better to actually run the presentation outside of OpenLP. Just open the software outside and and we um, s switch between the two two pieces of software. So it is possible to, to, to add a presentation in this window, drag it across and operate it uh, from within OpenLP, but invariably we don't. So I won't, I won't show any more detail there. Images, quite often we do use images as sermon illustrations or um, possibly as some kind of uh, advertisement or something like that um, before the service. There are two images that are available at the moment in this uh, container but we can go and get some more by clicking on that blue icon and then going uh, and searching around on the on the um, hard drive of your machine and clicking on the on the, on the file that you like to include. So for example there is a file that we're going to open up. This little window won't come up on version 2.05, it's a new feature that's being added to version 2.2 .2, so we just OK through that for now, don't worry about that. And then these are the images that we're able to use in our service. Let's, let's pick the second one, click and drag, bring it across, put it into the service manager. And there it sits. Media. These are video clips that are available for use and we can always go and add more by searching on the machine, identifying the one that we want and bringing it into this box um, by, for example, choosing that little clip there and you'll see it's now added and available. But let's pick this first one and include that in our service and drag it across just as we've done before. And then last custom slides. These are usually pieces of liturgy and you can search for a custom slide just from the titles, not from the body of the text. But if we want to find some communion slides, we can do that and it'll limit the um, limit the slides displayed to those containing the word communion in the title. And let's pick this one over here and drag that across, put it into the service. Last thing we need to do is to um, arrange the set in the order that we'd like it to be and you do that by highlighting an item that you want to move and moving it up and down uh, or you can actually drag the item, click and drag and move it up there whatever we would like to do. Let's put this at the end 
Um, let's bring that one to there. That should be fine for now. One more thing is the series of images that you will remember that run as a slideshow at the beginning of the service. Uh, they are a group of images and you saw in that little box that was offering us a, a, a group to add an image to that we do that by bringing together a number of images and putting them into the same group add that image to the selected item and you'll see now there are two images that have gone into that group. So when a slideshow is created it basically involves having uh, several images in this folder here and then dragging them all on top of each other and putting them into a bundle together so that when it comes time to run the service we can double click on the icon on the image that we want to display and start the slideshow and you'll see that the slides begin to cycle sometimes you'll find that the a song that you've added is not quite correct there may be a mistake or maybe an adjustment that needs to be made and when that happens you're able to edit the song this is something we'll look at in more detail in the third tutorial but for example if we want to edit the Lord's Prayer we could right click on the item in the set choose that option there edit and you'll see there are all sorts of details that we can edit we can change the author the copyright information if there's a linked musical file an mp3 that we use as a backing track for hymns particularly all of that can be changed here but for now let's go and edit the the words the lyrics of the of the of the song and you do that by clicking edit all and you can see in this very simple form um, with some specific codes that break up the, the verses from each other uh, there is all the text that can be edited and uh, we're going to go and change that word there and change our father which art in heaven to our father who art in heaven ok and save and you'll see that the change has been made in the set so that may happen occasionally that may need to be done but we'll look at that in more detail in the third tutorial when we talk about entering new songs and creating custom slides and all of those details one more thing is if we look to edit this song Cornerstone you'll see that at the bottom um, of all these verses here verse 1, chorus 1, verse 2 there's a breakdown of how the song is to be presented what it's telling the software is that uh, the first slide will be verse 1, then chorus 1, then verse 2, then chorus 1 again, then verse 3, then chorus 1 again, then E1 or end 1. That is something that we can edit here as well. We could say, let's add another chorus 1 right at the very end. And we could save it. And what that would do, I'm going to just cancel here now, but what that would do is affect what slides appear in this set here and what slides are presented on the screen. That's a brief introduction to how to make some minor modifications to songs. In the, in the third and final tutorial we'll look at that in a little more detail, uh, working with creating songs and custom slides. And that should give you enough to set up a set for somebody else to present in a service.